Hello, thank you for joining me on another episode of Welcome to My World. Right guys, it's finally garden vlog time stop doing stuff on the house now um, still got a few bits to do we might do the bathroom because that's just a little we've got all the bits in for that um, but we're not really doing anything major around the house now so we've moved on to the garden our budget can't warrant garden and house so we're just uh, <laughs> putting all our money and effort into the garden at the moment but yeah we um, this is part one I'm not sure how many parts there'll be but we'll uh, see as we go along but yeah this is going to be a garden vlog just bits that we've been doing in the garden, bits that we're getting up to, but uh, for now I'm going to jump back to when we went to being queue to get our compost. Um, I'm recording my intro after this whole video because I forgot, so um, yeah, so I'll see you at being queue. Right, so we're in being queue, we're picking up some uh, compost because we need it for the trough things that come, that built in the greenhouse which we'll show you. Obviously when we put it together, we've got a reciprocating saw only and some blade, yeah, only two left. They've got it, it's discontinued now. I think they're upgrading, so we've got it at a discount as well, which is uh, always good. Uh, is it worth getting nine? If we're doing so much on the garden, that we want to just buy it while it's on special. Go on then. Nine it is. <laughs> You're the one who should be happy about it. You love the garden. I do love the garden, yeah. It's great. Oh god, I'm dead tired today. We've had people around all weekend, didn't we? The last two weekends we've had people out every single Being day. social. How much? 450 litres of soil. 450 litres of soil and it probably will go nowhere. And eventually we need to get the chuck some more yeah. um, soil, but not today, but come um, on then. Let's go, I need to go and get me seeds now. We need to check that. The soil goes for a really cheap price as well, because the guys said it was scanning at full price. Oh yeah, we'll check. Right, to the tills. To the seeds, although I might not buy them from here, because I might pop the QD on the way home, because... Uh, I think they see the deer in uh, b and but they have got some big sunflowers that I want to get. I do love when it's garden time. I've never had my own garden, so I can get all my own stuff back out soon. Oh, you know what we should price while we're here? The big stones, because I want to put them round the trees on the right side of the border. have a look and see how much Let's are. just go and uh, put that to the side, so I have to keep trolleying it about. Yeah, and then uh, way, let's go and see what the stones are like. There's some big ones here. These are big pebbles. These are quite nice. The uh, they're not like rounded stones. They're like roughed edges. How big are we talking? Though? Decorative they're pebbles. Big. They're quite nice. Thirteen pound. Oh, we'd need a lot. Yeah, we would. For the length Same. of the garden. Big stones ain't cheap. Uh, you got these ones. Guys, I'm excited. This is like the first of our garden vlogs for the house. So. Uh, when we get home, I'm going to show you what we've done to the garden so far. You've probably seen a bit of it when we did the chucks, but I'll show you what we've done so far to the garden and what we plan to do to the garden. What you got? What are you saying? The same price? These ones. The same price. There's even less in them. Because they're big. Big, big ones. So we've got, we should look online as well. So £13.30 for 40 to 60 mil. Does it say what what size the bag is or it's just the size of the stone 22.5 kg what you found oh the um, weed barrier that's not enough no right that's enough today we're only looking at the stones let's get back and get on with the uh, greenhouse because I still need to go to uh, still need to go to QD to get me uh, seeds right let's go right we are home now I've got me seeds from got some from QD some from Aldi because we went to Aldi and so these ones are from QD these ones these ones we got some of these ones how pretty are these ones absolutely love them um, got some trailing labelia because we brought a hanging basket which is outside I'll show you in a minute the bits I brought outside um, this I'm not sure where I brought them for I'm going to try and grow some big giant sunflowers this year because I love sunflowers and then from Aldi we got this one which for the bees and the butterflies in fact 
this one is for the bees and the butterflies as well so maybe we'll have a bit of a mix and then I got some roots and blooms these were from Aldi as well uh, these are like 99p for all of these ones um, to grow because I wanted a cucumber but the pack of cucumber was like £3 in B&Q and these are £1.19 for <laughs> cucumber included but I also got all of these and these just quick are the seeds that I got from Amazon I think um, last week and these are for my tortoise and my chickens so well I say all of them rosemary's for us chives are for us lamb's lettuce is for me tortoise because he's kind of stirring at the minute I've um, got some rose mallow seeds which are flowers which I'm going to grow for my tortoise and then he does eat little gem as well but it doesn't have too much nutritional value in it but it's we eat this one as well and I'm going to grow us some peppers and some yellow cherry tomatoes so um, now we've got our own house guys I'm so excited it's literally like grow city and also me and Sam got a pair of um, gardening gloves from Aldi so uh, yeah we also brought a uh, reciprocating saw because we're going to take um, some trees, more trees down. Because We've got to trim it back a bit for your yeah, greenhouse. Yeah, because my greenhouse has obviously arrived. Well, not obviously, but my greenhouse has arrived and we need to sit it further back against the fence and there's trees. Well, okay. Just cut through some trees. Said trees. So I'm outside now. This is me hanging basket with me cocoa fibre uh, liner thing. Um, we've got a bracket there. I want to put that up on the chucks. Uh, I'm not sure where, but I'm going to put that up there. And them two troughs, as you can see, is where I'm going to put some of the flowers to attract the bees and the butterflies. Um, yeah. And we've got this. How adorable is this? Little Wellingtons with some flowers in. And look at him, guys. His little gonk on a stick. That's everything now so next we're going to be building the greenhouse well, I said me and Sam I'll help if I can um yeah I'm going to uh, probably time lapse that while Sam's putting it together but, but you'll see it regardless during the process after the process you'll see it started already had to get my camera and he's took all these down how are you getting on good watch out I still didn't buy those cows oh did you yeah I managed to get it all off Oh, nice. That's really nice. I guess we missed a, a poo on the poo pic. Really pic. Yeah. Oh, wow. Let me come closer to show you. Because, yeah, look, this is all the, obviously the trees. These are next doors, but they, um, they've grown through the little fence. So we can obviously trim back. We asked, obviously, and she doesn't mind us trimming back the uh, yeah. fences. Yeah. Uh, the trees on our side, so that's what we're doing. Um... This is the little wire here, so obviously anything our side we get rid of. Yeah, just, well, more or less. Uh, yeah, it just allows us to put stuff against it um, so further back. I'm just going to do your things coming from roughly here to about where I'm about to here is now, so just keep working along. Oh, you're to here? Yeah. Nice. Like this one has just been cut. Okay. So Yeah, what that's the, the, the branch from yeah. the that's how thick it's got over the years wow yeah for that ivy could like come off all across there and then just leave yeah, the trees see where the individual trees are now they're like two sort of like trees trees, trees yeah trees. The ivy's just took over yeah the point of today was just to cut a little gap so that um the greenhouse can go down not necessarily today but just to make a space for the greenhouse to sit further back in the trees and I think that is uh, a job well done. Right let's give you a little garden tour of uh, what we've got going on. 
I've got to chuck out because uh, I'm not sure if she looks like she's getting poorly again so I'm just watching her out of the coop and uh, she seems good perhaps she just don't want to hang around with her sisters today so against this fence here although I should have painted this fence before I put this up but I still can um, I'm growing some taberries here so this is my little part where I've got my taberries growing probably grow literally up here and across this wall they're very prolific growers so uh, but you get some nice tasty fruit out of that We've got a nice table and chairs that's going to go on this patio, but obviously it's not here, as you can see. It's in the summer house, but we're going to be rubbing that down and uh, getting it all nice looking. This tree, which I think is my cherry tree, this tree, which is my apple tree, and the olive tree and the bay leaf, they're all going to go across here. So basically, these plant, these plants that here are all going to be dug up tom's run is going to be built where the patio ends and then we're going to have all our four trees across here all spread out nice and we're going to put some nice big chunky stones all the way along the border so that'll look really nice here i've got some hollyhoxies we're going to grow them up the side of the chicken run here um my mom's got a nice little like cast iron pot thing that she's given us so i'll show you when that comes another day and i've just got all the flowers that i showed you and stuff i'm going to grow in the troughs here and just everywhere really random around the garden some as you can see is taking that stump out um, but yeah we're gonna have a, a nice big shed here next to the chickens then first to start off the uh, process we're gonna have the greenhouse here and then we're gonna have a pond and then we're gonna have like a fire pit area here I think eventually we're gonna concrete all the way up the garden and across there so that everything can just sit nicely on a nice concrete base and be sturdy and secure. You're out there, love. This might take a while. But yeah, it's just so nice to have our own house. And we can do whatever we like. We don't have to ask anybody. We can have 15 dogs if we want. <laughs> I probably won't, maybe 14. But yeah, I just love having our own house. And like I said, it's that time of the year now where we're starting to prep the garden and get it ready. It's going to take a long time. Like I said, if you're thinking you're going to come back next week and this garden's going to be done, you're wrong. We don't have the budget and we're just going to do bits as and when we can. Um, but when I do bits, I'll obviously bring you along. And uh, it might even be next year we finish some of the stuff. We might get, obviously, the greenhouse is going up. Uh, maybe we'll put the trees in over the other side and stone that. But I'm not sure when we're doing the pond or the fire pit area and the big concrete area and getting a green getting a and getting a shed it's, it's going to be like i said a long process but we there's no rush and uh, we'll do it as and when we can and hopefully you'll enjoy coming along with us uh, seeing what we're up to anyway back to me table that's going to grow up there and probably on this wall because again like i said the trees are going in the ground this is our chimney from our old house and little lantern stand thing they need to be might put them in my sandblaster um, all the individual bits and just get all the rust off and spray them all up and then this is my little thing that I got from my auntie that passed um, that all needs cleaning up I'm going to sandblast the inside of that as well so I can have some nice candles in there and then this mirror is going to go central because it's really bugging me but uh, yeah not much I can do about that at the minute I have also got a load of nice ornaments that I'll be bringing back out as well so uh, I'm so excited when we get around to uh, getting them all out it's going to look fabulous but I think it will wow we've got a base well it's roughly level not completely but considering that we're going to have big troughs on either side it's only the outer edge which really needs to be level and that's yeah. pretty good yeah paving slabs down the middle and just bricks to hold the weed berry in place at the moment and then we'll build up on top of this nice so this is how big our greenhouse is going to be <laughs> pond five bit i'm picturing it picturing it and uh surprising amount of shed. stuff <laughs> comes off a small stretch yeah all that for only that section <laughs> yeah so when we do all of this it's going to be a nightmare yeah yeah, because you can see how lovely, like, the, I don't mean lovely, but the tree, like, there's a gap between each tree, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, they was placed out really nicely. They've grown all straight up nicely, but they've just got overgrown, and then they've not been maintained, because all of this ivy stuff 
was growing over it and you can see all the little streamers growing through it and if you can see it's not even on the neighbor's side it's our side it's been yeah, overgrown this side's just been they've never looked after it on this side yeah mad uh, we'll slowly get to it and cut it back and move it along yeah and that now is ready for our greenhouse Right guys, it's a few days later and it is greenhouse time. So Sam has been assembling it this morning and I think he did some panels in the garage the other night because the weather has been atrocious but we just went up so we're out going to be out in the rain. Sam's out in the rain putting it together. So uh, let's go and see what he's up to. How's it going? Good, just putting these bulbs together. You've put the frame up in the garden? Yeah, the base part's done. I thought I should put it in place really. I'll build so off it. I don't it. know how uh, heavy it's going to be when it's built. Or right. manoeuvre. And these are the glass panels. Yep, so there's a door panel and two windows made. Wow. <laughs> how many more panels? The whole of it? Yeah. Oh, it's all panels, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, glass. Not glass, it's... Uh... It's a greenhouse. No, the material, not the... Uh, polycarbonate. That one. Is it really rainy outside? It's not too bad at the moment. It's slacking off a bit. Okay. So this is the bit at the top that he's built the base. And then these are all the poles and stuff that he's going to attach. And uh, I might go out and try and help. It's raining. But it rained over it anyway, did it? It didn't. Um, yeah. I was going to time it up, but my um, my gimbal thing is really playing up, so it keeps spinning around. So I don't want to film and then I come back and the footage is upside down. Oh, guys, I've just come in to uh, make some coffees because it's absolutely freezing out there. We're building it in the rain and we're absolutely soaked through. We are struggling to um, struggling to get it in the ground because of the roots with the trees. So uh, that's fun. Right, it's the next day again. This is the progress that we made yesterday. So we got most of the frame put up. Hopefully today we get a little bit more done because Sam is at work, but he said he wants to do a little bit tonight. So um, we'll see how much can get done and then I'll show you some more progress. So we've got this um, garden light for the patio. because We've got one on the chucks, which I think I showed you in this video. Uh, it's the sensor one that comes on. We've got one in the alleyway, which I probably didn't show you, but this one is for the patio because when Fido goes out, the alleyway lights up and it has to be halfway up the garden for the one on the chucks to um, to light up. What I am going to do next is I have got a Timu haul and I think I've got one coming in the next couple of days as well. So if that's here before this video ends, I might show you, but I might not because I don't think it's got anything to do with garden but this one why i'm showing you because this is like a garden vlog is uh, i want to put them up around the garden so i can't do that until i've showed you what i've got so uh let's see what's in me to move haul right it's open <laughs> there is a lot of crap in here some is not garden but i'm just going to show you i'm going to go through it so i can show you my garden bits right what's this oh this is my string lights let's open them these are my little bee lights. I'm not sure how tuck they're going to look. They look a bit tuck, but maybe they'll be a bit better once they're lit up. We'll see later tonight. I'll show you all these in working order if I set them up by the time this video is uh, edited. But if not, I'll show you in another video. But I'm not even sure what this is. Let's have a look. Oh, I get it. These are my little bags. So instead of planting into pots, I can plant it into these. And then when my seeds grow, I don't have to take them out of these bags. And they go direct into the ground or whatever you're putting them through. The roots will come through. Right, next, this might be my other set of lights. Nope, not garden, so I'll uh, <laughs> show you on another video. What's in this one? Oh, this is my little tortoise I ordered. How cute. His eye looks a bit funny. But yeah, he's going to go on Tom's run when we finally get around to building it. But that is actually next after the greenhouse. Got some more solar-powered string lights. Like I said, some of... Some of these are going to go on the little fence with the trellis. Some of these are going to go in the trees. They're going to look gorge. Ah, these ones are for me chucks, basically. You stab them into uh, a bucket or something like that, and then they uh, have a little additional bowls. I took this out of the box because I'm trying to work one-handed. Uh, I'm just wondering what it is, but it's actually 
another little bird feeder so i've got one on my patio door and i want to put one on this window here at the front because all the little birdies come um and feed from all the bushes and soon we're going to be cutting all these bushes so i want to give them somewhere to still come and have some food and last but not least we've got a few chuck signs for the chicken run so we've got so we've got farm fresh eggs come and get on we've got welcome to our coop we are all clucking crazy there's only three trucks on here which is actually fitting because unfortunately one of my chucks hattie just died so that's a bit sad but bless her she was in the house nice and warm and all peaceful um and last but not least we have got grow damn it to go on my greenhouse or somewhere near there <laughs> and that is me to move hall um garden related there is all this stuff but i'll do that on another video because that's nothing to do with gardening and this is uh, a garden vlog right so last step of the greenhouse is the door i said to sam to wait until he got to it so i could uh, show you on so uh yeah it's got a big door Okay, go on then, do the honours. There's a paving slab in the way. <laughs> okay, let's go again. Let's move the paving slab. Take two, we've moved the slab now. Okie dokie. Did I have a handle? I haven't finished yet. Oh, you went for the door on. Okay, I mean, you went for the handle on. Like it, like it, beautiful. Let's step inside just quick. I need to get a new paving slab here because uh, that's what I plan to stand on. I've got my stepping stones. Look at the big. Um, beds that are here and like I said hopefully my racking will fit here we've got a window up here oh you've siliconed it I can smell it that's for the gutter parts okay and a window here this one up here is apparently automatic but on I uh, need to fit some bits for that yeah you but you can have it manual for now or I can fit the automatic bits but I think I might just have it manual because I don't want it opening until I want it open but I love my greenhouse, thank you very much. Get this finished up and get the soil in. Indeed. Right, God, I've been busy today. I'm finally set up on the table to start doing some planting. But actually, before I'm going to do planting, I'm going to put my signs up. I'm not sure about this one for now because I'm not sure how I'll attach it. Um, I'll get some sticky stuff, but these ones I'm going to zip tie on. And then, uh, so that's them here. And I'll show you when they're done. Right, little update. I've put my little coop sign up on the door. Looking absolutely gorge. I've got blue zip tie things, so I need to get some uh, black or white ones. But for now, it's okay. And now, and this one, fresh farm eggs or farm fresh eggs. They are so cute. I do love to move for a sign, but like I said, I need to get some better colour zip ties. But yes, I love it. Oh my god! Oh my god! You've filled it up! How many cup what's that compost bag? I don't know. Where's that from? No idea. <laughs> and that's the pile of uh, bags it's took. How many bags has gone in there? Uh, we bought nine bags, but I didn't use the last one, but all the other bags combined was probably a hundred, so we're probably around one thousand litres now. And that's plenty deep enough that is. So it'll probably go down a bit when we press it and push it around but what I can do is I can grow them little I can start all my seeds off in them little sack things and um, just sit it on top in here like sit it on top and then when they start to sprout I will I'm out of silicon I've done all the walls but I haven't done the ceilings okay yeah some silicon all around the edge in the end because he's going to do outside obviously he's got to wait for a better warm day but you were saying you were doing the inside yeah there's obviously. been a lot of reviews of this online and people are saying moisture gets in between these panes and works its way up right and then you get mildew and stuff start growing in the panes and it's no longer transparent it just becomes a mess right so you seal it inside then it will dry yeah. And then when it's all dry inside and we have a dry day outside sign with no condensation the in the yeah so when it's all gone i'll seal the outside but it's also good to stop the panels rattling because oh yeah it'll stop on moving it's it like seal them moving in and out it just helps secure everything i can't believe how big these beds are but my greenhouse is well i say mine i, I asked for it but it's our greenhouse six foot and a foot deep 
can't believe it. They're massive. <laughs> it's the biggest I've ever like. That one's got worms in. Where'd they come from? What? There must have been worms in the compost. <laughs> they're little worms. You might not be eating my stuff or I'll feed you to me chucks. I might see if I can quickly build you some shelves or I might leave it till tomorrow. But anyway, either way, as we uh, do more progress, we will show you. I'll bring you along for the ride. Garden yeah. vlog time. Finally, our own garden. We could do our own garden vlog. Right, it is the next day. And Sam's taking this wire off. Which I'm not sure why it was wrapped around there. That's a really nice one though. It is, but it's really not secure at all. There's no raw plugs and there's two different size screws in it and one of them is tiny. Oh yeah, I guess the light's going to go there, so perhaps take that one down. Um, so we're going to take this one down. Um, this mirror, not today, but that's going to go up a bit higher and more central because it bugs me when it opposite this little um, pot thing which we're going to put some candles in in the summer. These are our lights, so I showed you yesterday. Um, these are the bee lights and these were the other lights that I didn't get out of the box but if you can see they're little flowers they're really cute and they're gonna go in me bay leaf and if they work good I'm gonna get some for the olive I think I've showed you but yeah Sam's olive is here my bay leaf is here and uh, like I said eventually they're gonna go in the ground and we're gonna get rid of this bush and this bush how does it stop raining? It stopped raining and now it's piddling it, it down again. It came out and now it's raining. Yeah, this is our light there. Let me just show them quick. It's beautiful. Look at that, Scourge. That's going to go up oh, here. Uh, let's stand this side and see. Yeah, do you think a bit lower or? Yeah. Good. Or do you think in line with the patio? Yeah, in line with the patio. Temporary because that's solar. When we actually have some power out here, you can put some fancy stuff up. Yeah. Like, we're still planning on doing that awning. We could have lights built into that. Yeah. Well, right, I guess we've just got to wait till it gets dark and we'll see if it works. At least the on and off buttons are at the front so you can reach them. Yeah. It should have been like a little flap there, you know, so that they don't... But I know they're covered, like in... Yeah, they're all like rubber sealed buttons. Yeah. No, they can't cover it enough to make it go off. <laughs> we'll see what happens when it's dark. Indeed. Right, so next, I'm getting all the jobs done today. Um, we're going to use... We're going to put up these lights on the fence. Uh, no, these were the fence ones, weren't they? The bees, and then these ones were for the bay leaf and we'll get some more for the olive if they're good. Oh guys look how adorable these little bees are. There we go. Put the solar panel up there on the fence. And then I'm gonna get my staple gun out and staple. Just position them all. Yeah, because some are upside down and back to front but uh and swinging about so yeah I'm gonna get a staple uh and get a staple gun. How cute are they? I mean, they're a little bit tack, but they might look effective at night, is what I'm hoping. Adorable. Right, for now, it's really, really pelting it down. So these ones we're going to put in the tree after, but I'm going to go look at my summer house now because Sam's put me um, some shelves in the I-18. Let's go and see it together. Right, here we go. I'm not sure if I showed you my sign. Oh, you've got a new slab now. Oh, and look. Oh, can we get the buckets? Can we get the buckets in the somewhere else? Because then I can collect this for me rainwater for yeah, me plants. Uh, the ones in the summer house, I'll show you. Right, I tried to put some against it, but uh, it didn't line up and we didn't have any pipe. Great idea though, that Sam had, but it didn't fit yeah, over that. Washing machine waste hose on lovely, but it's full of crap. Yeah, we had a washing machine waste pipe that we found. Um, but it had all detergent in, so I don't want that because the point of wanting to collect this is obviously for. Um, where's my water bottle? Couldn't we hook that up properly? We don't have anything to connect it to the gutter, that's what, what we need. What did we connect it with last time? It went onto an actual gutter. 
Oh, uh, okay. It had that fancy overflow valve and all the connectors. Give me little chalks. They've still not used any of uh, that additional playground that Sam built. But anyway, right, let's go back into... I need to get rid of this as well. Jungle in the corner of a little woods yeah, in the I'm corner. For a right, okay, so are we ready? Let's open our green owls. Look at him leaving his mug in here. Cheeky buggy. Don't have fun in here. This is where you work. Go on then, get to it. <laughs> Woo! You need to put some cable ties on them shelves to secure the mesh down. Okay. Look! So I've got a short one here. Let me come back a bit. So I've got a short one here. Oh, I've got my little stepping stones here for now. Um, Sorry, you want to come in? It's raining. Huh? I'm alright, I've got hood on. Oh, so I've got my little. Oh, that's genius. This is my old greenhouse that we had in the other house, and Sam's just kind of adapted it to. Well, made it up, haven't you, where the shelves were in the old one? Yeah, we just tried to use what bits we got. Yeah, and then we just need to table, table, cable tie this bit on, but this is what I can grow stuff on up here. <coughs> and over here, I've got a high one because then I can grow high stuff here. Yeah, she's so good. So I can have, yeah, because that makes life. In fact, to be fair, that's quite a nice height as well for growing up. And if I grow at the front here, it can kind of wrap around yeah, this front bit as well. Them. I do think you still need a little bit more soil in these troughs. Um, I don't know because I don't know how deep you need some stuff, but um, for now I think we're all right because it's pretty expensive to keep going again. It's and nice and dry it? here though. It's been raining all night. Yeah, so open the window. If you want, you might get a bit of rain coming. No, no, don't want to. Want it dry in here. Oh. Um, yeah, so that's me. Oh, you're decovering ya! Yeah. Building a little. Shells. Incorporating the old one into the new. Oh, you like, what you like. Make the most of what we got. Exactly. But yeah, I absolutely love it. And then I've even got a gap down there as well to grow. Something really tall all the way up Something here. Something really tall. Yeah, like me sunflowers. Those screws that hold your sign on, I've just put silicone on them so you don't go scratching yourself on them. What are you saying? I'm accident prone? Yeah, you've got pointy bits of metal poking <laughs> out the wall, you'll probably catch yourself on it. <laughs> in fact, what you could do in here is you could make us uh, a little shelf to put a drink on. And I just found this in the greenhouse. A shelf to put a drink on. <laughs> this is from the old greenhouse, um, so it's, well, it's muddy, but yeah, I use that for um, potting stuff on, can I? And, whatever he used to do on it but yeah I've got two of these actually I think Jazz gave me these eight years ago and uh, I got one in my craft room it's obviously all cleaned up that I use for my resin when it drips down but yeah Sorted. that's uh, this is my greenhouse and my shells oh I love it absolute get this bloody mug out my bloody you've got a lot of growing space in this one yeah it's like too much for me I don't know what to do <laughs> I ain't got enough seeds. I ain't got enough seeds. A great night. I've got plenty of seeds. Absolutely love it. Love it. Thank you so much. Look, right, guys, I've been in the garden all day and I've had enough now. We've finished. I'm going to end the video here. But before I video, but before I end it, but before I end it, I'm going to give you a little tour of everything we've done in the garden today because I'm really impressed. I really wish I had showed you the summer house before um, I did it but I didn't so but I'll show you it looks a mess still but it's an organized mess literally you couldn't even step in there there was no space before today was there but uh, yeah so uh, thank you Samuel for doing me greenhouse well I say mine it's our yeah, you did loads on the summer house. I did yeah and uh, yeah right let's show you what we've done and then we're going to yeah, end the video right. right so I'm going to start here I've got our little ornaments out I wasn't going to put oh, them out until the stones yeah, we'll come back at yeah. night and do a little, uh, just a quick little flash of the lights once they're working. So here we've got a little welly ornament and then I've put another one on this side to match. It's gorge. Um, this is the Taberies and these are our bees, which I think I showed you earlier, but I'll show you later when they're lit up. Right, and these are our little metal ornament things. Absolutely love them. So I've just dotted them up. I wasn't going to do it until the stones went, but it's going to be a long time, so I thought I'd put them out to brighten the garden up. So I'll walk you up. So we've got a dog, giraffe, they're so cute, another dog, a frog, mouse, zebra. I've got a little goat. This one's looking a bit uh, worse for wears. I've got a little cow, he's actually a solar, and a little rooster, which we had 
again he's uh, about had it but I put him out because he's by the chucks and this is the little plant thing that I was going to show you when it came when we got it from my mum's we've now got it um, our little gnomes here our little cat here like I said we lost one of our chucks so I'm going to do a little I'm going to grow some it here in memory of her um, but hopefully you three are doing good so about four and a half now and the rescues don't live apparently much longer than that because uh, they weren't built to uh, last built for egg production coop side which i've showed you i've put our tortoise and our um little <coughs> sheep thing here next to these troughs because why not um that's our old little bird bath thing that we had that I feed the birds in i've put me uh my water fountain back out i need to clean it and uh, set it up a couple of bird ornaments down here to to match the metal ornaments on the other side. Sam very kindly set the water butt up round here. So this is our water butt. These are all our watering cans. I've just shoved them round here out the way. And this obviously, as I said before, is where our shed is gonna go. But for now it's where Fido likes to get messy. He's going in for a shower because he is messy as hell. Um, this garden is just buggy we've started the garden really early this year so obviously we've ruined this side but we do plan to either have slabs or concrete on here so we're not going to bother to grow grass so it'll look a mess for now but we'll just maybe plant some more seeds or hope it grows in on this side and here under the summer house we've uh, put some potatoes in these little sack pot things and we're going to grow potatoes and Fido. oh hello Sophie. Drink. What do you want, Fido? What do you want? <laughs> Don't think Funny. Right, now let me show you in my green. I'm going to show them in my greenhouse and then I'll be in to show them. Go. Okay. What, are you coming in? Of course you are, why not? Right, so again, we haven't planted any seeds today, but hey ho. So, like I said, I showed you all my racking. Sam built. I'll be able to let him in here once I get my plants in there because I'll be uh... get out! Get out little bugger! Um, yeah, showed you me racking. racking. I've got a little old hanging basket here that I've just got all my little tools in and then these are all my pots to obviously grow stuff in love these. I'm going to put these outside the front door once I've grew some flowers to uh, put in them and yeah, all my pots. This is my racking that Sam managed to put in from at the summer house we took it out and uh oh, I just love it in here guys I just feel this is my second happy place in the house after my craft room <laughs> but yeah I love our greenhouse is fantastic and we've got some stepping stones in here let's close this back over right now we're at the summer house how adorable do you know what I've had these for about four years I bought them from a car boot for a pound these ladybirds many moons ago and I've never put them up <laughs> and now I'm very excited they're up and they look adorable obviously the greenhouse has got to be painted and everything right and a quick tour of my summer house because uh Svada's gone in for a shower and I've had enough today I wish I'd have showed it you before but I never did um so this is all my animal stuff this is all our paints and chemicals and bits that we use um, a table and chairs waiting to come out and just our water for our tanks and uh, some sticks obviously there's nothing of value in here so uh, you know uh, yeah and that's our little summer house yeah I'm gonna end the video here hopefully it's not been too long and you've enjoyed watching um, like I said this is our first garden vlog so first of many there's so much we need to do around this garden but like I said it'll be done as and when we can because the budget is not there for it so uh, like I've said it's not going to be done next week it'll be done over this summer probably next summer either but every time I do a little bit in the garden I'll show you what we're up to and uh, that's about it thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next Friday at 7pm hopefully if I've got a video if not I'll see you soon Ciao!